Now, Pennsylvania Avenue and uh, North Avenue were basically at the heart of Monday's riots, violence that started right here before spilling across the city. Now, flash forward to today, 48 hours later, we still see protests, but this time hundreds, if not thousands, of college and high school students took to the streets. The message again the same as everything that we heard from the last 10 days ever since Freddie Gray passed away, but they really emphasized the fact that they were doing it peacefully. It's been the anthem across the city. Pounding the pavement, local college and high school students loop from Penn Station to City Hall and back, voicing frustrations about the police custody death of Freddie Gray earlier this month. Another aspect of it is police brutality, and another aspect of it is youth activism and us being out here to support, you know, a cause that we think is dear to our hearts. This is not just an African-American problem. No, it's not. This isn't even just Baltimore's problem. This is America's problem. Their message is poignant, but peaceful. Tensions erupted into violence earlier this week when demonstrators clashed with police. How would you describe Baltimore right now? I'm bad. Why is that? Because all of the riots. Ten-year-old Deshaun and his peers rally at City Hall calling for a better Baltimore. We want to make Baltimore better in any way possible. The days of the protests were not bad. We love our city. We love Charm City. It will be nice if we could just all help each other, not tear each other down and just build up as one. And, you know, all just come together, as she said, as everyone's saying, one Baltimore, one stand strong as one. Now, again, this is a live picture from Sky Eye Chopper 13. What you are looking at is uh, the intersection of Pennsylvania North Avenue. We just saw some National Guard Humvees roll through the intersection and we're going to be seeing this all throughout Baltimore from now until about 5 a.m. because that is when the curfew is in place and then of course they're going to be here for the rest of the week. But uh, protests as we saw in that last story um, they're going to be happening throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend and hopefully they will not escalate like we saw on Monday. Reporting live here in West Baltimore, Christy Aletto, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right.